Welcome back to Mason Talks. So NFL free agency is supposed to start on Wednesday, March 18th. Now, I wouldn't guarantee it. I'm not going to guarantee anything in sports anymore with this whole coronavirus. I mean, the coronavirus is single-handedly killing all of sports. The NBA is gone. The NCAA tournament's probably going to be affected in major ways. I wouldn't be shocked if something happened in NFL free agency. They don't want these these GMs, these players, these agents flying all over the place. But I'm going to go through this video assuming free agency takes place. And I'm also going to go through this video assuming the Cleveland Browns are going to be fully ready to be an aggressive team and to spend some money upgrading this roster. Because that's what that, that's what needs to happen. The Browns have some pretty big holes on this roster. They have things they need to address. We all know that one of those needs is offensive line. Pretty much the entire offensive line outside of J.C. Treader and Joel Batonio. You're going to need to get a left tackle. You're going to need to get a right guard. You're going to need to get a right tackle. You're going to need to make some pretty massive upgrades to the offensive line. We also know that linebacker is going to be an issue. Christian Kirksey was cut by the team. Joe Schobert is going to be entering free agency. You're going to need to find some linebackers who are ready to play. Those are probably the Browns' two biggest issues and something they are absolutely going to be looking at in terms of free agency, but also the draft. But another big issue, something that hasn't been talked about as much because it's frankly not as important as linebacker or offensive line, is the Browns' safety situation. The Browns need to go out and probably find a few safeties who are ready to make an impact in this upcoming season. I mean, let's look at the Cleveland Browns' official depth chart on www.clevelandbrowns.com. Free safety. The two free safeties they have listed are Demarius Randall and Sheldrick Redwine. Sheldrick Redwine was a rookie last year. He was fine. He has the potential to be good. But going into year two, I don't know if I'm ready to trust that he can be a full down-in and down-out impact player at that free safety position. I don't know if I have faith in Sheldrick Redwine. And then you talk about Demarius Randall. We all know what's going to happen with Demarius Randall. He's going to be gone. Demarius Randall is going to be an unrestricted free agent. He was one of the Browns' biggest disappointments in 2019. He was a hassle off the field. He was a big distraction. And he was never really able to be an impact player on the field. Andrew Barry is absolutely going to let Demarius Randall walk. And then you look at the strong safety position. Justin Burris, Eric Murray, and JT Hassel. I don't even need to say much about that trio for you to know that probably need to make some upgrades at strong safety as well. Eric Murray's an unrestricted free agent. He'll probably be gone. I think Justin Burris is as well. So you're probably going to be left with Sheldrick Redwine. I mean, that's what you're going to have left. The Browns need to go out and find some safeties. They really don't have any safeties. Safety is a big problem. And I think it's something that they should be looking at in free agency. They should be looking to be aggressive in free agency in terms of finding a safety. And the top name that everybody's been talking about is former Minnesota Viking Anthony Harris. Now, people are talking about Anthony Harris to the Browns for good reasons. He's a monster. He's one of the best safeties of the 2019 season. He was great. He had six interceptions, which was tied for the lead in the NFL. He's a playmaker, he's a ball hawk, he's one of the best in the NFL. Anthony Harris could absolutely come in and make an impact on this Cleveland Browns defense. Everybody talks about, oh, he's got a connection. (laughs) He's got the connection to the Cleveland Browns. Kevin Stefanski was the offensive coordinator in Minnesota. He's got the Vikings connection. I don't believe that because Kevin Stefanski was the offensive coordinator and Anthony Harris played on defense, but despite the prior connection, Anthony Harris just seems like a no-brainer for somebody that the Browns should go out and try to get, somebody that the Browns should try to add to their roster, and somebody that could absolutely fill in some massive needs for this Cleveland Browns team. They don't have any safeties. They need somebody who can play safety. Anthony Harris can do it. And here's the thing. Anthony Harris is also something that the Browns haven't had in a long time. He's a good veteran leader. 
There have been a lot of people from Minnesota who've talked about him being one of the big locker room guys, one of the key locker room guys. He's just a good guy. He's a good personality. He's a good person. And I think that's something that the Browns need. We need some of those sort of stable forces in terms of personality. I mean, that should have been Christian Kirksey. That's what we, he was supposed to be the Browns kind of veteran leader last year. And of course, he spent a lot of the season injured, so you weren't really able to have that. Christian Kirksey is now gone, and it not only leaves a void in terms of linebacker, but in terms of leadership as well. You don't really have many veteran leaders on that defense. Anthony Harris can be that. He's 28 years old. A lot of his teammates and coaches have said that he was a great locker room guy. And I think that that's something the Browns need, especially on their defense, which is going to be dealing with a lot of turnover. I mean, you know, Joe Schobert's gone, Christian Kirksey's gone. As I mentioned earlier in the video, like half of your safeties are going to be gone. The Browns are going to have a lot of turnover on defense. They're going to have a new defensive coordinator coming in. Miles Garrett's going to be dealing with a lot of controversy all season. You need a stable force in that defense. You need somebody who can be the consistent leader for the defense, and I think that that could be Anthony Harris. I think Anthony Harris could come in and be a good, you know, sort of veteran leadership for some of your younger guys on that defense. Guys like Denzel Ward, Sheldrick Redwine, Greedy Williams. I think he could bring that, and I think that that's something the Browns absolutely need. Now, we've noted Anthony Harris, you know, great guy, great player. But with that comes great demands in terms of, you know, financial desires. And according to Inside the Vikings, which is the Minnesota Vikings, like Sports Illustrated, you know, website, whatever. Anthony Harris could be looking at 13 to 14 million dollars annually on a new contract. So you're going to have to pay him. You're going to have to pay him big dollars. And I think that the Browns are probably expecting that. But also, I think that that's something the Browns can absolutely handle. I mean, the Browns still have some of the most cap room in the NFL. They have like, what, $65 million in cap room? You have the space to sign him. The Browns have space to make big moves. They still have space under the cap to go out and bring in major additions. Guys that can legitimately change how your franchise plays. And I think that you look at everything, you look at you look at all the all the factors that factor into this situation. You look at the fact that the Browns don't really have any safeties. You look at the fact that they're going to have to use their top draft pick on an offensive lineman. You look at the fact that Christian Kirksey's gone and you don't really have many veteran leaders on that defense. All of those factors, I think that it would absolutely make Anthony Harris worth 10, you know, 13 to 14 million dollars annually. If the Browns want to be aggressive, which Andrew Berry said he wants to be aggressive, I think it would be smart for him to go out and offer a big money contract to somebody like Anthony Harris. Anthony Harris, who can make a legitimate change to your NFL franchise. But we'll just have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what they do in free agency, if free agency even happens on March 18th. But let me know in the comments. Would you want the Browns to go would you want the Browns go out and pay Anthony Harris a big a big contract? If you were running the Cleveland Browns, would you want to go out and give Anthony Harris 13 to 14 million dollars a year because I think it would be absolutely worth it. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.